All right, first and foremost, we want to update y'all on the wheels. Uh, we, yep. Uh, oh, well, the Falcons are the tires, right? Yeah. Well, uh, what model are they? Peanuts Automotive Adventure. Yeah, the everyday automotive adventure. <clears throat> That's Peanut. I'm James. Welcome aboard our channel, Peanuts Automotive Adventures, right? Welcome, Team Run It. Uh, but before we get into today's video, official shout out to all of our sponsors. Innovative Powders. Yeah, you good? Go ahead. Yeah. We're going to go with innovative that one. Powders. Yeah, right there. Reach out to Innovative Powders. You know what I'm saying? If you need anything powder coated, reach out to them. Yeah. Like we stated in the video before this one. They start in a Cerakote, uh, along with powder coating services. So reach out to them, y'all. The information is going to be right there where Peanut pointed. And what's our next sponsor? The Graphics Watt VA. The Graphics VA.com. Peanut got it, y'all. Peanut got it. Yeah. Uh, where if you need any graphic design, artwork, or anything like that, any signs, uh, promotional items, T-shirts, hats, Tumblr. uh, tumblers, uh, what else, man? They, they just do so much, y'all. Yeah. Uh, like probably for the new um for the new uh subscribers uh one day i'm about to do another video on the trailer and show y'all some of his work that he yeah. did for the trailer for us way back in march and april march it was in march of this year but reach out to him y'all websites at the bottom etsy store at the bottom reach out to him all right today's video it's gonna be on the mustang yeah. We got to give y'all some updates on the Mustang. We got to provide y'all yeah. some updates on the Mustang because I know some of y'all been watching me autocrossing and whatnot yeah. out on the autocross course. So we're going to provide y'all some updates on what we've been doing to this car lately. Yeah. All right, let me turn it around. All right, first and foremost, we want to update y'all on the wheels. Oh. Uh, we, yeah. Uh, oh, well, the Falcons are the tires, right? Yeah. Well, uh, what model are they? RT 660s. They was a they're a used set of Falcons, y'all. Yeah. We're gonna get a new set next year. 18s. Yep, they're 18s. You're right. 18 inch wheels on SVE wheels. Um, I got them from L LMR.com. The wheels on sale for $7.99 for all four brand new. Couldn't beat it. Um, but these are 18, and it's uh, 285 all the way around. Yeah. Uh, these are 18 by nine rims. Tires are 285. Let me show them the tires real quick. 285, 30, R18s. So it's all the way around the car and they fit very well, right? Yeah. And these car these tires, even though they used, they did help me tremendously on the autocross court because they get way more stickier than the Continentals, right? Yeah. So let's show them the back. These are the rims again. Here's the back. Yes, sir. So that's what we sitting like, y'all. That's what we sitting like. Uh, also, I just been making little little changes since I got the black wheels. We've been blacking out. Look, I got a, you got air bubbles in there. I put a little black decal at the bottom here. I put the black decal in the Mustang down here. Uh, blacked out the third brake light with some tint, and blacked out the tail lights with some tint. Yeah. I didn't do too bad for my first time doing it. Yeah. First time doing it, but it's all about using. Um, I use Don a little bit of Don liquid detergent and water and sprayed it down make sure that your surface is clean though but spray it down for you can move it around and then you'll bring the uh hair dryer out here to get all the air bubbles out and the squeegee right yeah i wish that i could do this i would like to black out the spoiler make it black but yeah that's what we've been doing and the bigger surprise is this 18s all the way around hold on i'm getting to the surprise y'all i'm getting to the surprise the bigger surprise is I'm just showing y'all the other wheel. Before I get to the surprise, let me tell y'all, 
I figured out the brake pads on this. These brake pads are the same brake pads that go on a 1997, 96 Mitsubishi yeah. 3000 GT VR4. So, man, I was scared because I didn't think I was going to be able to get brake pads for these SSBCs, but I did. I put some ceramic brake pads in there. Uh, I, I went to O'Reilly's and got some ceramic brake pads. The most exp expensive pair that they had. And I went, we went ahead and did that. But let me get around to the surprise, y'all. I can't wait to show y'all. Bam! We got us a Ford Motorsports, right? Intake. Used. We got it off Facebook yard sale last week. Right, Peanut? Yeah. Man. So I'm so happy to get rid of this doorman. That doorman got to go, y'all. It gets to go. Yeah. That thing got to go, but I'm still going to keep it on the shelf, but it got to go, got to go and use it as a backup, but it got to go. It's robbing me of horsepower, y'all, robbing me of horsepower, yeah. but we got the Ford Motorsports intake. Let me show y'all what, uh, Peanut going to show y'all, where is it split at? We had to get some new, yep, right there, you right. We had to get some new gaskets for it because the previous owner gave me these, but after further evaluation, they're split right there yeah. and they split somewhere else too hold on let me look on the back side y'all can see it better right there see where the gaskets is so these are junk right here so we're gonna throw them away they're junk why we're gonna throw them away because we got some new ones right here all right let me show you we got these fell pros right here they're the same as those uh go ahead open it up peanut show them these fell pros right here Yes, sir, and it came with the throttle body mount of the throttle body intake gasket. But yeah, we got some new ones. There's another gasket in there too, Peanut, if you dump it out. So we got these new Fell Pros. Go ahead, dump it out. See it? Just turn it upside down. And it'll fall out. Go ahead. You hear it? There you go. Don't lose it. Boy, we need that one bad. But we got the new throttle body gasket that mounts to the intake. So put, this, put these back in there, please. Here. Turn it around. There you go. Yeah, just drop it in there. Those two. So we got the new gaskets, y'all. We and we got the new fuel injector uh, O-rings right here. Matter of fact, you can throw those in there too, so we don't lose them. We got the O-rings right there for the fuel injectors when we take off the fuel rails. And right here, I'm just gonna go with a whole new, a whole new mount. Yeah. Like we got the 180 thermostat here. I'm gonna put it in there. Look, a new mount that goes right here, right? Yeah. Yo, hold on. This might be the wrong mount. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look at the. Hold on, hold on. Let me look. Dang, team, run it. We might got a problem. Actually, we don't. No, we got a problem. Man, that's the wrong mount. Hold on. It is. Ah. Uh, no, it's not. It's the right mount. Yeah. Uh, thermostat housing, my bad. Not mount, but thermostat housing. But hold on, let me see. No, that's wrong. Come on, LMR. I go off the website. That is wrong, dude. See it? Because you got to have it like that and see the bolt holes don't even line up. Look at that. Dang. All right, let's put this back. The bolt holes don't even line up. Either we're going to use this old one right here. So we got a choice. We can use that old one or we can use that one. It don't matter. We can clean that one up. But that's wrong. All right, so figured out that with the quickness team running. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. What else we got in here? And we got another O-ring in there. That's the thermostat. Uh, How's an O-ring that goes right here? So we're good. But I ordered it. Luckily, that thing is cheap. Let me see what he got on here. Shoot, it ain't gonna work if I keep dropping it. Let me see. 902102. I'm gonna have to research that, y'all. There we go again with another dormant product, but it ain't an intake. So, put this one back too. That's the this is the 180 thermostat right here. I think we got like a 192 in there right now. So we're gonna switch over to this 180. Go ahead, grab that one too, even though that's junk. But you can throw it in there. All right. And here's the uh, intake right here. 
Now, I'm going to tell you what I did. Actually, you know what, Peanut? All right, let me tell you what I did. I'm getting sidetracked. So, he gave me those. So, these right here I needed from the junkyard, but they already own there. These, I can either reuse them or these are the intake um, head bolts right here. Bolt to the heads. Right here. Uh, yeah, you could. It was something else I needed. I think the EGR mount. Let me see how that look on this one. Yeah, I got an EGR mount. I need to get a screw for the NG. Uh, we got the mount here for the EGR, but see, these are self-stopping screws that Dorman gave you. So I'm gonna have. To, I'm gonna need those, and I'm gonna need the screws from here because these are self-tappers too. I'm gonna have to go to the junkyard get these screws, get that screw, and these screws he gave me. So I only got to get the coil screws and the EGR screws, and we can start installing this yeah. intake. But you know what they didn't send me? What? Maybe they did. I thought I ordered this too. I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to log into my account because I thought I ordered a new uh, alternator bracket. But I can reuse that alternator bracket too. That can be reused. So we need these here, this and this from the junkyard because what I did team run it, I threw it away with the old uh, broken intake, original intake that came off the car. But I'm glad he gave me these though, look. These right here, but I could have used those over here though. So that wasn't a big deal, was it? Yeah, it wasn't really a big deal. It really wasn't a big deal. But we know the screws we need, so we're going to get it done. Because I need that, I need this intake back on there, team running. I got to have it back on there. And I might even get from the junkyard these screws here. I really don't like these screws. I'd rather have these. These are probably even better, huh? But we'll see. So, oh, he gave me those. That's all right. And I'm going to have to use that this right here. Look, it came with two coolant uh sensor holes right yeah and we can I, I can use this cap right here where's it at not not this one that's the actual sensor there should be one right here that i could take out and use on that one this one right here if not i can go buy one but i'm gonna yeah. use that one right here see a team run it that's the one i'm gonna use so we we're we gonna be golden peanut we're gonna be golden it's gonna be almost time to install that right there so let me turn this around. So this is the little update. Let me turn it around. All right, Team Ronnie, this is the update on the Mustang. I'm happy. Yeah. We got a Ford Motorsports intake. And man, let me put this in my other hand like that before we get farther back. We got a Ford Motorsports intake. I'm gonna have to clean, yeah. I'm gonna clean it up. Probably do that today or tomorrow. Yeah. Clean it up real good, right? And we're gonna get busy one day this week on putting that intake back. Yeah. Once I go to the junkyard, get those other screws, and we're going to be good, y'all. I'm just happy to get that. Y'all know, I can't believe how hard it is to get these intakes for these 4.6 modular motors because every time I went to the junkyard and looked for Crown Vicks, guess what was always missing? These intakes. People are grabbing them, hoarding them, whatever, which I don't blame them. You know, I caught on too late. Because they don't make these intakes anymore, y'all. Like, don't nobody carry them. They used to back in the day. But don't, don't nobody carry them other than you want to get the cheapy doorman. And then there's another one that looks just like a doorman. But let me stop talking. If y'all go back last year's video, maybe last August, where me and Peanut installed that. Uh, it wasn't a DIY install. We were just providing y'all with an update on what had happened to the car. But I really want to get that installed really want to start you know some more suspension upgrades but i can't do that until i get this right so so let me go ahead and close this out uh don't forget to comment like subscribe and share okay. hit that notification bell you know uh me and peanut we always out here doing something with cars right you know what i'm saying so hit that notification bell um and you know we're gonna keep y'all in the loop on this y'all i'm just happy y'all see me grinning that intake just and I got a deal on it too, so you know I'm happy with that. Didn't didn't even try to talk the guy down because I knew what it was. But hey, we out of here, right? Yeah. You got anything to say? No. He's on summer vacation right now, so you know we out here getting busy, y'all getting busy. No. You don't have nothing to say? He said no, y'all. So we are gonna go ahead and sign off. 
That's Peanut. I'm James. Peanut's Automotive Adventures. We out. Peace. Peace.